वेलकम टू मिनतीस एजुकेशन फॉर सी एस आया एन टी ए यू जी सी नेट सेट जे आर एफ गेट जाम आई आई टी कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग प्रोपोजिशन एंड गिव द करेक्ट आंसर आई हैव वाइड मैरिज रिमेन्स वैलिड अंटिल अ डिग्री अनलिंग इट हैज बीन पास बाय अ कम्पिटेंट कोर्ट टू अ वाइड मैरिज इज नेवर अ वैलिड मैरिज एंड देर इज नो नेसेसिटी ऑफ एनी डिग्री अनलिंग इट Three, a voidable marriage is regarded as a valid marriage until a decree annulling it has been passed by a competent court. Codes A I two and three are correct. B I and two are correct. C two and three are correct. D I and three are correct. The correct answer is C two and three are correct. Let's break down each proposition. I a void marriage remains valid until a decree annulling it has been passed by a competent court. This statement is incorrect. A void marriage is considered invalid from the beginning and it doesn't require a decree of annulment because it's inherently void. 2 a void marriage is never a valid marriage and there is no necessity of any decree annulling it. This statement is correct. A void marriage is one that is considered to have never existed in the eyes of the law. It is null and void from the outset and no decree of annulment is needed because it's already invalid. 3 A voidable marriage is regarded as a valid marriage until a decree annulling it has been passed by a competent court. This statement is correct. A voidable marriage is initially considered valid but it can be annulled by a competent court if certain conditions or grounds for annulment exist until a decree of annulment is issued it is treated as valid so propositions 2 and 3 are correct making option c the correct answer thanks for watching visit again